So with the big names coming back for the grass court season, we've got one of the biggest tournaments before Wimbledon. It's in Halla, and it's a huge, huge event. We've got some massive names as well. Most of the top 10 are playing in this one, and also Queen's Club, which is happening in England at the same time. Let's go see who's not playing in this event. So only one name pulled out, Kane Shikori. He's not going to be playing this event, which is a little bit of a shame. Still trying to come back from injury, but there are some massive names still playing in this one. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one, and nobody gets a buy in the first round, which is sort of unique. Yannick Sinner. He's the number one seed, of course, world number one. First tournament as well. World number one. Terrible first round. He's playing Greek Spore in the first round. Such a nightmare to start the tournament. Winner of that will take on either Marishan or Sefulin in the second round. Then you've got the Deary taking on Struff. Winner of that will take on the wild card Squire or the number six seed City Pass. He's not that good on grass. So really dangerous section here for those seeds. Then you've got number three Medvedev. He's taking on Borges. Winner of that will take on either Ovna or Zhong in the second round. Then you've got Eubanks taking on Martinez. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number seven seed Bublik, the defending champion in the second round. So a really interesting section because, of course, Sinner is good on grass. We saw him make the semifinals of Wimbledon last year. He is the man of the moment. But he's playing Greek Spore in that first round. So, so tough. And then guys like Mevedem and Sidzi Pass, they've got some tough matches too. And with Bublik as the defending champion, crazy section of the draw. Of course, you've got to watch out with Yannick Sinner. First event as world number one. He is the top seed as well, of course. Not for the first time. He's been top seed at other events, but he is the man to watch. Also, got to watch out for Bublik, of course, making his present known on grass and also winning this title last year, making a good run at Wimbledon. He is a little bit injured. Did pull out of last week's tournament, but still got to think he is dangerous on the grass with that serve. Also got to watch out for Medvedev on this service as well. Can play on grass to make the semis of Wimbledon, so definitely watch out for him. Watching out for Struff, I'd be watching out for Griggs Bob as some of the dangerous unseated players. And also be watching out for Eubanks as well, who did make a run at Wimbledon last year. So really, really interesting section of this draw. Okay, bottom half of the draw now, we've got number five seed Hercatch. He'll take on Kaboli in the first round. Winner of that will take on either the Wild card from Seca or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Berrettini taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Giron or the number four seed Rublev in the second round. So again, a very stacked section here with a lot of dangerous unseated players. Then you got the number eight seed FAA. He will take on Kopf in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Feast or Mahatch in the second round. Then you got Kechmenovic taking on Sonigo. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number two seed Zverev. Of course, his first tournament since winning, since making the French Open final. So really, really interesting. And again, because it's such a small event and it's so stacked with top 10 guys. There are just so many names to watch out for. And of course, you've got to watch out for Zverev. You've got to watch out for Rublev. You've got to watch out for Hercatch. Those are the three dangerous guys. OJ Aliasim can also play on, on grass. So watch out for him as well. But in terms of unseated players, you've got to watch out for Berrettini. He was a monster on grass a couple of years ago. Also made a final of Wimbledon back in 21. But man, it is a stack, stacked event. And this is going to be really dangerous. And don't be surprised if we see some massive upsets at this event. So there it is. That is the tournament. Crazy draw. I mean, this, it's a crazy draw. And like I said, most of the other players that are not playing here that you you know, the Alcarazes and those kind of guys are playing in Queen's Club, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Only guy that's not in the top 10, the only guy that's in the top 10 not playing is Djokovic, of course, with that knee problem. But man, I mean, Sinner's first round against Grigsport, that is super, super dangerous. Of course, Grigsport nearly beats Vera but at the French Open uh, on the clay and very capable on the grass. Uh, also, guys like Hercatch can play on grass. We know Medvedev can win these kind of titles. Rublev, Zverev, Bublik. I mean, this is a crazy tournament. Maybe even City Pass can get some grass court uh, form under his belt, but let me know in the comments below. Who do you think's winning this one? I mean, it's hard not to pick Sinner because he probably is the favorite on the grass with Djokovic being away, but that draw sucks. Maybe it is another guy like Hercatch or someone like that who uh, have done well on the, in the past, but that's a crazy draw. That's Hella. We'll watch it next week.